Oh yeah, it is Royal Wedding Day, folks. If you didn't know, maybe you were up at uh, 4 a.m. watching everything go down. We're actually taking a live look at Windsor right now, where one of two wedding receptions are going down. So it's just an exciting day for all of the UK. And we want to talk about it a little bit more because this is official now. Prince Harry has married American actress Meghan Markle. The world watched this morning as they exchanged vows at the St. George's Chapel in Windsor. So we have a wedding expert with us this morning today, Johnson, to talk to us about the celebration, the fashion, the wedding party. Erin and I have been waiting for this oh all my day. Gosh. So and let's get into it. it. Yeah. <laughs> you saw what we did. So let's just start. What are your overall, I mean, what's your, your takeaways from seeing the entire thing this morning? Yeah, um, I would say, first of all, it was beautiful and stunning. Um, and they couldn't have asked for better weather, which is always the lingering question on a wedding day is how's the weather? Um, kind of like the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, <gorgeous>. exactly. <laughs> what about this dress? Um, her dress was something to be talked about. Many people debated if she was going to go classic, um, if she was going to go more frilly, more dramatic. This um, seems totally classic to me. I mean, she, yes. she you've got long yes. sleeve. I mean, barely yes. off the shoulder, not showing a lot of decolletage. Yeah. I mean, it, she went very conservative. She did. She conservative. Went very, very conservative, simple, yeah. but very classic and streamlined, which I think says a lot about what she's hoping to bring in to the royal family. Yeah. Um, we, read, we read on Twitter some of the folks thinking that she was going to be more like scalloped or more yeah. lacy, but you know, like we talked about with one of our um, audio gals in the back there, Elizabeth, she was saying, well, I liked it. It was pretty classic. Yeah, and she didn't I have the trail. That. Yeah, you know, and the boat the neckline yeah. was like, un it's not been seen before in royal weddings, so it was very tasteful. Showed a little bit of skin, but not too much. Probably not um, to want, wanting to make a big scene. Totally. You know, the American actress yeah. coming totally. in, you know, totally. that had to be, <laughs> you know, over her head. And we saw that tiara that was lent to her mm -hmm. by the queen. I think yeah. we have some comparison. Can we throw up that of the different dresses looking back at Kate's yeah. and, of course, Princess Diana's? I think people, I'm seeing that a lot on yeah. social mm -hmm. media, people kind of comparing yeah. the how does this yeah. fall in line? There we go. So there's Kate's. Yeah. She had more of the lace that you were talking she, about. She did, which um, was uh, even then a little less traditional, um, which people, hers is an Alexander Wang dress, um, Kate Middleton's dress, and it was beautiful. Everyone was talking about it. Um, everyone was anticipating lots of wedding gowns to look like um, hers in the coming, which mm -hmm. I think we did see lots more uh, lace overlays like that, very similar. Um, she also went the conservative route. Um, with the longer sleeves, um, but also very tasteful. You think it's kind of fitting of their personalities too? Yeah, I think so. I think that's always what we tell our brides is, you know, we want the dress to feel like you and we want you to feel like yourself in it. So, yeah. you know, something um, else I wanted to talk about guys is also the security measure because yeah. so much going on with all the celebrities and everyone there and especially with what went happened with Princess Diana and the paparazzi and right. uh, Megan's father mm -hmm. and things like that in the news. Um, yeah. This wedding costs so much because of the extra security. I think I read something yeah. about four point eight million. <gasps> $42.8 million. 42. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> most of it, 94% of the cost probably was for security. Yeah. So. I mean, that's what I think of as a planner. We're thinking logistics. So I'm just imagining the the team that, um, you know, Buckingham Palace had on mm -hmm. staff. Um, obviously, they've done, uh, they did this royal wedding. They planned it, um, and they've done lots of them. So I'm sure this is old hat for them. But um, because they um, chose to have the wedding at Windsor Castle, um, at specifically the ceremony, most have them at Westminster. Abbey. Um, so that was a whole different logistics because Windsor, the city of Windsor is actually like out in the countryside. So um, having to bring in security, um, parking, all those yeah. things, all those logistics and everybody coming into town, Americans coming into town mm -hmm. um, and coming to this small town of Windsor. Um, I'm sure, I mean, the barricades, the policing, the security, all of it is just like Mind blowing and something I'm glad I don't have to plan because yeah, that I would know. be. <laughs> I can't even it takes a village. I'm and we sure. do, before we let you go, we want to talk about the moment that I think a lot of people are talking about because mm -hmm. it is such out of the, you know, the norm yeah. of tradition is that she walked down By the aisle, you know, alone, mm -hmm. but she had all those cue with Princess Charlotte. And yeah. Prince Char I mean, they were all behind her, but she mm -hmm. was unaccompanied. Yes. For the most part, um, and there was word going around um, that Prince Prince Charles was going to walk her down, and he indeed did, but for the majority, she walked about three quarters of the way by herself. Um, she did have two page boys, which are her best friend's twin boys, walk Aww. behind her, which was really sweet um, and meaningful to her, I'm sure. Um, and I think that says something about her. She can kind of stand on her own. And exactly. You don't really notice that, exactly. hey, her, her father's yeah. not there, her mother's not there, an uncle or a brother yeah. or something, you know, something like that. Yeah. Um, Just it really her was mom. her moment. Yeah. It was her moment. I was emotional. I don't know about you guys, but I was like... I was like the the choir like singing like the organ playing. That was what she walked down. Wonderful. That's what we were I talking about. Like, that was so, my, I love that. I love that. the spirit yeah, of so that. Pretty. It just gets you kind of going and totally. just the vibe of it and the whole theme. She looked really like a princess, enjoyable. which she, was yeah. really cool. Yes.
And now she is the <laughs> Duchess princess. of Sussex. It's just you know what I would say? One thing about that dress that I like, I always think for down the road. So if she has children, yes. and if she has a daughter, that dress is so classic that she could wear it or even alter it. Chop the up the sleeves totally. and There's make so it much say the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know that's going to be down the road. Oh, yeah. Belle, to me, yeah, so much sure. you can do we with that. all of that <laughs> exactly. fabric. Yeah. 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 We're going to make it thrifty. All right, Danae, thank you so much. That was a lot of fun, guys.